Yo, 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 Hollow Knight Nation. Oh, wait, I have to do the Acid Radiant site. I don't know how much I'll be talking today. Um, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not feeling that well. I got very sick uh, from something. Probably gotten infected by my roommate. Eh, it's fine. I'm just in a horrible state of mind right now. My body is like barely functioning. Uh, my head hurts and I'm just constantly trying not to close my eyes. I don't think I'll get very far today. Which sucks because we're like, what? This is uh, episode 299, right? The day before episode 300. I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to beat the challenge before episode 300. Uh, just kind of like an arbitrary deadline to uh, get myself pumped and excited about that. Because at this point, it's not really a question of if I can be the challenge, I think. Uh, one of my recent runs where I got really far, I think that's a pretty good indication that I can be. I got to the very last phase, the very last fight, the very last challenge of the entire game. I can beat this. I just choked in the last phase, which really isn't that difficult. Um, I was just nervous. Some people tried to give me some uh, pointers on like, how to play it better. And I appreciate that, of course. Um, and there is, I was given one advice, like, instead of pogoing and just, like, um, not pogo. The thing is, I've never actually failed in that part of the fight before. I'm usually pretty competent in my pogoing skills. Uh, like, I've gotten to take damage every now and again, but I don't really lose during that uh, phase. So it's pretty uh, surprising that I end up losing at the end there. It must be because of nerves, I guess. Um, I was also kind of hungover. I didn't really have... I think I was kind of running on instinct uh, entirely. I wasn't at all thinking about what I was doing. I was just kind of playing Hollow Knight. Um, oh, whoops. Oh, that, okay, I guess that was a risky of me jumping up there. Mm. Uh-oh. Oh, I got survived that. Impressive. I guess I should have streaked to there. Whoopsie. I kind of want to heal though. I don't like being on 2 HP, it makes me feel much more passive. Oh, uh, okay, I'm done. Yeah, god, no, I could have probably dashed him away or something. Shrieked a bit more, ended the phase quicker. I was hoping he'd do the laser attack so I could heal. Eh! I'll, uh, yeah. I'll do the Pantheon now. I was supposed to go to work today. Uh, it's a relatively short shift. I would have been there about now. It was like 16 or 45 that I was uh, gonna be there. And then I would just stay at work for um, five hours and then I'd be home. But I, don't know, I just called my boss and I'm like, yo, I'm really sick and uh, I can't make it. And I don't know, I. It, it was just fine, I guess. Apparently, it wasn't really. I wasn't really needed at work anyway. It's a low. Um, very low amount of customers or whatever. So it wasn't a problem. Oh, it looks the wrong direction of it. Oh, okay. Uh, I got my day off. And uh, what did I spend that on? I spent it on watching... <laughs> I've been watching anime the entire day. I woke up and booted up, like, a pirate website and just started watching Mob Psycho from the beginning. I think it's kind of like my com comfort show, I guess. I just... I just felt miserable, and I thought, you know what, I'll watch anything. Um, and I was like looking at YouTube, and I was just thinking, man, no, this sucks. I'm getting nothing in my recommendations that I kind of want to watch. Um, and so I just kind of opened up. Yeah, Mob Psycho. I love that show. It's one of my favorite of all time. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, do I just die to Vinge Blaking? That would be kind of awkward. I don't want to do that. Can I heal here? Oh, almost not. Okay, surely I can heal here. Alright, let's try it. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, that's not a good place to heal. I fucked up. How long have I taken on this Venge Viking fight? What is this? Like, five minutes? No, I guess I spent... Okay. Four point... No, four minutes and 45 seconds, but that's including me fighting uh, Absolute Radiance. Which I guess just kind of goes to show how awful I did on that run. Uh, I died really quickly. I should probably heal. If 
I get hit once and then awkwardly fall into the spikes, I will be dead. I'll heal up to full. Yeah, no. It sucks. Uh, being sick sucks. Uh, just kept trying on me. I haven't gotten sick at all this last year. Uh, so, of course, it's gonna happen at some point, and then. I guess now it's as good a time as ever. You know, I, I, realistically, only I lose out on like one shift, so I'm not really doing anything too important. Yesterday, I think we I had plans with some people to hang out, but one of them bailed anyways, and I, maybe that just won't happen anyway, so. If they are sick as well, it, it is probably just gonna fall out. Part, which sucks, but it's not like I don't need these guys so often. I live with them, um, so we'll figure something out another time. The day after that, though, uh, it gets a bit more annoying that I can't be there. My, uh, my family on my mother's side, uh, they live in Estonia. I'm a half Estonian. And they're visiting Denmark for the first time uh, at all, I think I can remember, to visit uh, my mom and her family. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I'm kind of excited there. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to talk to them. I haven't really seen them in a long time. I haven't visited Estonia since before Corona. Like we visited semi-regularly uh, in summer vacations. And then Corona hit and we just, you know, of course we didn't. And then after that we just also didn't. I don't know why. There's also been some personal issues that prevented it, some money issues and blah blah blah. But now they're coming to visit us uh, in two days, and I'm really hoping that I can be well off here. I don't want to be uh, sick while doing that. That would be horrible. It's not the end of the world if I am. It just sucks. Um, because we are visiting them again this year. Um, in like, what, two weeks, I think? In two weeks, I'll be visiting Estonia to visit friends and family over there. And that'll be fun and exciting and all that. Hugelit. Cozy. Um, because I like it'll be my only chance to see them this year. It just kind of sucks, anyways. First time meeting in a while, I'll be sick. No, I can't let that happen. I can't let that happen. I'm just gonna hope the sickness uh, ends by tomorrow, and that um, it's only a one-time, like one-day thing. I felt kind of badly yesterday as well. It wasn't that bad. Um, I ended up taking like something from my throat, which was hurting, but. This is much worse today. My throat is actually not that bad. It hurts. It's not hurting in comparison to like the rest of my body. It's just aching everywhere. My arms just feel incredibly weak. Standing up is a humongous effort. Um, so that kind of sucks. I'm not gonna just sit there and complain every the whole video though. So I'll talk about something else. I did, however, like start doing something more productive. Uh, a lamp in our um, bathroom. We have like a mirror with uh, two lamps on it and like lights up, it's pretty cool. It stopped working a while ago and uh, we just never bothered to fix it. And then um, today finally, whoa, in my uh, almost not even lucid state, I kind of just uh, went and tried to figure out what's going on. I removed the mirror and looked at the lights and stuff like that. Figured out which new lamps we could buy to see what's happening and all that. And then. Um, I and a friend just kind of decided to not deal with it <laughs> anyways and just leave it to a professional where we've contacted our um, Eindom's mailer, like a landlord, I guess. It's like a landlord company. Contacted them like asking for an electrician. They might call anytime soon, which should probably not have my phone on silent. They'll likely not call today. The if they do, that'll be kind of annoying. I don't know how I'll really talk to them. I guess it's fine, no, I think whenever I'm sick in this way, I just kind of lose the ability to care and talk, at least about other people. I don't think things through as much. I'm a bit of an overthinker usually, uh, which I think comes across pretty well and across like most of my initial like, interest and stuff. Like I read a book and I overthink every page like crazy, I'm a big analyzer, I talk to someone, I- what the fuck, I'm moonwalking? What the hell? What the fuck happened? Oh, whoops. That was kind of weird. Anyway, night, that's cool. <laughs> um, when I talk to friend, I always overthink a bit too much how, what to say and all that. Yeah, but not while I'm sick, I just kind of say whatever. I guess it's not really the case on this holiday here. Um, here I also just say whatever, I don't overthink anything. 
Maybe that's why it's so liberating. But now I'm just sad. I just do things. I'm really. I feel really badly. If I do things that I enjoy, like playing Hollow Knight or watch my favorite show, I'll still feel bad. And nothing changes that. It's just like mild comforts. So a lot of the time when I'm sick, I just end up being really productive for some reason because I uh, just can't like do anything that I enjoy. So I might as well do something I don't enjoy. Uh, if I'm feeling bad anyways, like might as well make it just productive, you know? Like why waste my good shows and enjoyable activities in a time where I'm not feeling good? I feel like it's kind of a strange concept because a lot of people have like comfort shows and the thing they do whenever they feel bad, like eat a lot of snacks and whatever. I don't, I just, whenever I'm feeling bad, I eat like the most healthy food imaginable because I'm not going to be happy anyways, might as well make it healthy. Uh, which I think is pretty positive, like, that's a good idea. Like, it helps me a lot, a lot. Like, I eat healthy, I'll probably get, uh, unsick, like, uninfected sooner, probably. And it lets me do stuff that I always wouldn't want to do. Maybe it's more of a problem is the fact that I don't do things and I'm not sick. Uh, I don't know. It just gives me a weird clarity of mind. It's like, when I'm bored, I figure out stuff to do. I'm never really bored, because I uh, can always find something to do. Um, but sometimes when I'm, I have a lot of things to do, I just kind of get overwhelmed and find the least productive thing to do. Like, I'm really bored, I want something to do. And I have a lot of things I could do, but I'm not really just not wanting to do them, because I'm just not energized for it. Right now, I'm also not energized at all. So there's like nothing I can do. Everything I want to do, I can't do because it's just, I'll just feel bad anyways. So I end up just picking whatever. Like, I get more much more creative about what to do once I uh, can't do it. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm kind of rambling about something that really isn't even true. I think I'm kind of grasping at straws at what I'm saying. I haven't really thought this out before. I just become more productive when I feel bad, and I don't think that's a good thing. Uh, because it probably just means that I'm not very productive when I feel good. And that would mean, like, I'm technically incentivized to make myself feel, feel worse whenever I want something to do something. Like, if I'm at work and I want to be at max capacity, I guess optimal way to do that is just not let myself feel happiness. That's not a good thing. I don't want to tell people that. My future employer is going to watch this video and be like, oh, you gotta, I'm going to, like, remove your breaks and any enjoyment you have in your life just to make you, like, five times more productive. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is what happens when I have a fried brain while playing all night. I just kind of rap. You know what? I don't think that's actually true. I think all my videos are me rambling about really incoherent shit. Like, the one I almost won, I was talking about Vinge Black King society, like, the royalty, their patriarchy. I thought about that a lot recently. What the hell was I even talking about? That was like n literally nothing. I say said nothing of value. But really, it's like what I do every day. I just kind of say nothing for one hour and uh, play Hollow Knight while doing it. Hmm. Anyway. What else can I say that's, that means nothing? Blobby gobbity goop. Skeetle! People pop. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, he juked me. I thought he was gonna go the other way. Whoops. I don't know why I'm healing. I'm getting healed up right after this fight anyways. Like, yeah. I guess now I have full life health and soul. I don't need to spend time healing. I don't know. Uh. Oh, wrong one. Alright, let's see how long can I keep this lifeblood. What are we guessing? Three bosses? One? I take a lot of damage on this fight for no good reason. I kinda hate it. I don't hate the fight, I think the fight's fine. But I do take a lot of damage here and I hate myself for it. It's not really that long either, he doesn't have a lot of health and he's really easy to shriek. Like, you can make a mistake there and he dodges kinda, cause he's a dream boss, they get pushed around in weird ways. Um. I thought I had two damage. Usually you can get good double vintage white hits, but I failed there for somehow. Oops. Eee. Eee. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's Hollow Knight, I guess. Wonder if Silk Song's gonna have green glasses. 
There's like a lot more enemies in that game. Uh, at least that's what they said in the trailer. Like 150 new enemies. Unique enemies. I'm wondering how true that is. So a lot of the enemies in this game are also... Oh, fucking hell. There goes one life left. A lot of the enemies in this game are also kind of copy paste. Like, you like, look at the Tick Tick. It is very similar to the same exact mod that it meets up. Like, there's like five different versions of the Tick Tick. They're not really that unique. And there's probably others. But maybe, maybe South Town will be really interesting and unique and completely different from Hollow Knight. I don't know how to feel about that. I like Hollow Knight. It's kind of a hot. What is a sequel even supposed to be like? Like, do I not just want Hollow Knight 2? Like, uh... I kinda wanna just, uh... Oops. Play Hollow Knight mode. The DLC here, God Home, was like kinda the perfect Hollow Knight DLC for me, because I really like the boss fights and then... Um, the combat in the game. I don't think I could ask for a better thing than this. A new, like, sequel? There was a new moveset and shit? I don't know if that would be as enjoyable for me. I really like the core moveset. But I guess it would be fun to have a new, like, some new variety. I don't know, it's... I'm excited about Soul Song too. You know what? I'm excited about Soul Song. But I don't know in what way I should be about it. If I... I kinda wanna, like, alienate myself with the game from uh, Hollow Knight. Uh, because if I think of it too much like just a Hollow Knight sequel, uh, I might get really disappointed when it turns out to be different, you know? They might have some changes, you know, how the movement works, or like, the bosses and combat. Uh, oh, we fucking got me with that. Interesting. And, um... It might be better if I'm just kind of open for a new thing. Like, if I just think of Silk Song as a blank slate, no, like, no expectations. I might be, uh... More willing to, uh... Accept changes. You know, kind of like a lot of people complain about Minecraft updates, but that's mostly just because they don't like change. Like, they like what the old was and they're scared. If I, uh, if Silk Song ends up being different from Hollow Knight, which it probably is going to be, I feel like a lot has changed compared to like the trailer, like new spell attacks and all that. Am I going to be okay with that? Likely. I don't think I'm that picky about it. I'm not entitled to uh, to having Silk Song be the perfect game for me. I think it's like they've got a lot of people to uh, make happy. And then um, if they, oh man, can someone manage to even make like a fraction of the people? Uh, who are excited about Silk Song Happy, then that's a huge dub in their part. I personally really like Call Knight for the combat, and that's like my main thing. I also really like the platform, the movement and everything has been really good. I just think, I just love it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. But then a lot of people played the game mostly for the story and the, oh shit, and the... And like exploration, which are also amazing parts of the game, but they're not really what hooked me. The lore and like the story of the game. I kind of got excited about that after playing it. I didn't really care much while playing it, but then I, once I was done, I watched the mock, like the moss bag video, and I got really excited. And I watched a lot of videos about it, and it was cool. But that's not really what hooked me about the game in the beginning, and I don't think it really hooked me in the Silk Song either. Like um, they all still probably focus on the combat and the the gameplay itself, and less on exploration as well. I don't. I don't know if I really like exploration. It's kind of a thing that I've realized about myself uh, in this year is that I actually have a horrible sense of direction. I always knew I had a bad one, but it's like comically bad, and it applies to video games too. When I played like throughout all the like Dark Souls games, um, I haven't played all of them, but I like all the Dark Souls games. I have played all the Souls games. I'm constantly reminded about how awful I'm at navigating because if there's if there's not a map, then I don't know where I am ever. Um, and I constantly find myself looking up walkthroughs and shit, like, where do I need to go and stuff. And uh, that kind of sucks. Especially in Bloodborne, I had a lot of issues with this, and uh, Dark Souls 1. Elden Ring, not as much, but that's because there is a map there. And the main dungeons, though, I didn't really like those. Probably because they were really just copy-pasted with, like, versions of each other. But also just because <laughs> there wasn't really a map that showed me how to get around, and I often got lost. And I hate the feeling of wandering around not knowing where to go. Um, which I feel like to a lot of people is like the essence of exploration. You like, a lot of people feel like I, they like the feeling of uh, being lost and finding our way back. I don't know, I think it's, ooh, different in Hollow Knight, because there you have a map. Um, I, like, you make a map as you move, 
Um, and when you don't have the map unlocked yet, then you can still kind of find yourself with... It's not that bad, you like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. Um, you may not have the map for it in the area, but you can see yourself, like, in the overarching map, you... How would I say this? Like, if you open the... You can't open the map in an area where you don't have a map, but you can open, like, the full map or everything. Like, the total map, and you can see yourself in perspective of the old, the other map you know. If that makes sense? And that's kind of enough to make me, um, kind of understand where I'm at. And then, you know, like, we just get maps pretty often in this game. I think the only area I really didn't get a map in the original original game was a uh, Fog Canyon. That's, you know, let's call it the, uh, the, the Umu place, the Watcher's area. No, not the Watcher. Jellyfish Land. I never really found the map there until I bought it in the shop. Yee. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I'm bad at navigation. And then I'm sure a lot of people will be really excited about Silk Song for the navigation. And I'm happy for them. I, I agree that Hollow Knight's uh, exploration is a lot of fun. And I did enjoy it for the most part. But that's not really what I enjoyed about the most though. It was always the combat. Um, so like, how are they going to translate that to the sequel? What are they going to change? Like, they'll have to change something. Um, otherwise the game would just be the exact same, which really wouldn't work out well. And I think so far they've changed some of the moves, uh, like the moveset. I think pogoing is different, and you know the spells are different, you also have gadgets and shit. And instead of charms, you seem to have like weird crests that you can uh, mix and match with, like items you pick up. And it seems pretty interesting, it's very different from what I've, uh, I'm used to in Hollow Knight, but it might still be good. Like if they manage to make a really good system with Hollow Knight, maybe their Silk Song is gonna be e like, even better or just as good. If they can manage to make it just as good as Hollow Knight, uh, like the combat, then I'd be totally on board. If they can somehow make it like better, that would be impressive. That would be very impressive. But I'm just gonna keep my expectations a bit low. I like being hype about it, but I think it'll be better if I'm like a bit low expectations, just to make sure that I'm not like unpleasantly surprised when it turns out the game is not an absolute masterpiece. Uh, and then, like, it somehow, like, changed a lot of things from the, like, main game. Like, maybe you don't even have snail damage anymore, and you have to only rely on summons or whatever. I doubt it, but they could make that change. And maybe they focus a lot on uh, exploration and uh, the story. Like, many, many cutscenes and everything. And, um, have a lot less, like, combat encounters. Maybe you've got, like, a dating, dating game suddenly where you can interact with different characters and get up your, like, ability and shit. That would not be what I want, but, you know, maybe some people do need that. I don't know what I'm talking about, actually. I just kind of stoned out for, like, 20 minutes here. Ever since I lost the Radiance. I'm getting further than I expected, though. Um, I thought for sure I'd lose, like, Sisters of Battle or something. But no, I'm good. We'll see about uh, Collector. Yeah. There we go, that was quick. I also thought for sure I was gonna take damage here. Maybe I'm just lucky so far. Shio, okay. Here's the fight I don't need to take damage in, but I, for some reason, do a lot these days. Not really getting my grace flash in. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't take damage. Awesome. Whoops. Uh oh. Almost a damage there. Awesome. Okay. Maybe I'm just better at hauling it when I don't feel good. I was like also pretty hungover when I uh, did my last good run. 
so maybe I should just start drinking a lot of alcohol and licking a lot of doorknobs to make myself sick and I'll be a lot better. Look, look at my lifeblood, what the fuck? I haven't had this good lifeblood in a long time. I'm gonna lose it all to Hive Knight though. Uh, this guy for some reason just kinda fucks me over. It's like the, uh... Eh, the randomness that fucks me. I'm not good at dealing with it, I kinda rely on my, uh, dive and invincibility a lot and whenever I don't have that or something happens, I, uh, I get fucked. A little that easy. Eee. I'm scared. Ah, that sucks. I hit it on an accident. It's only one. Okay. Oh. E. Oh. Okay, I got hit once, which is not good, but. Whatever. It's better than getting hit more than once. Oh wait, early shrieking? Good. I hit him. He hit it with the full shriek. Oh, another almost full shriek? Okay. This fight is gonna be awesome. Never mind. <laughs> no one's that lucky. Eh, I'm getting good shrieks in. Come on. This might be over quickly. Depending on if he lets me attack him, of course. Oh, he's so low, come on. I don't know if he's actually low, but I just feel like I've hit him a lot with streaks. Yeah, okay, awesome. I have a lot of lifeblood going into Collector here, but... I don't know. This feels weird. I don't feel like I should be doing good. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not well. Look at that, I wasted my streak. I got him, like, twice with it. Begins. Ah, I thought I had straight dash. Well, I took damage, not like I can heal it off. I have life blood. Ah, I thought I was quick enough. Got it twice. Okay, I got it. Okay, kind of shnasty, not gonna lie. Probably just luck, but kind of shnasty, come on. <laughs> it looked cool. Alright, he's dead here, come on. Yeah, alright, got it twice. Still, uh, over max lifeblood. Not max, uh, over five lifeblood. I get five every time I reach it. Oh god, I'm gonna lose it all here, aren't I? I'm, I hate this fight. I'm just so bad at it. For no good reason. Hey. Fuck you. Uh oh. Ah, I have to dash there, otherwise I would have gotten hit with the goop. Oh, I dashed the wrong way. Oh, I almost took damage again. Needlessly. What? How did I get damage there? How can I not jump above it quick enough? Man. Yeah, I knew it. I'll lose all my life right here. Okay, only three of it, but still three of it. That's a bit more than I would have liked. Got hit three times. It's fine. It's fine. It's, <laughs> for some reason, Collector, it's fine. I only get it twice. But, uh... This guy? No. Sorry for snooping your dreams, bro. I'm gonna just need, so need solo, bro. That was kind of a dangerous dash there. Ah, oh, man. I don't know why I'm charging nail. Here I could have charged nail, but I didn't. Hmm. You know, I'm actually feeling better. 
I thought I like. Okay, my throat's kind of hurting now from the um, talking so much. But I think doing something that I enjoy is actually helping me. I'm not just sitting in front of my PC watching anime uh, for a bunch of hours. And I'm actually like thinking about Hollow Knight. I don't know. It's crazy how uh, not rotting in front of your screen. I think I'm still. Am I not just still rotting in front of my screen though? I'm, I'm, I'm more active at least. If I'm watching a show, I'm kind of inactive. I'm just like, absorbing something. Especially when the show is something I've already watched uh, multiple multiple times. I'm not thinking about the show. Here I've like... I kind of have to think about which move to do. Okay, clearly I'm not even that good at that. Um, but I'm like trying to adapt a bit. People have told me I can... Uh, in, the, in the ball move, like this one, instead of dashing I can just kind of walk and not get hit. Uh, but I think that only like counts for uh, this version of Grim, not the other one. So I don't know how used to that I should get. But it's good advice still. I still take a lot of damage from him just charging me for some reason. Like today. Uh, not usually. Uh, I think it's because I'm just not... I don't have really good re reaction time right now. Eee. Which will be very bad if I reach Markov and False Knight as well. He's a bit of a reaction fight. Yeah. Is this fight gonna be over? Thank you. I'm getting to get like a sixth of sense of uh, when a fight is supposed to be over. <sighs> yes, that was. 299 runs of this does to you. Hey, I still have more than a normal life look. Cool. Let's see if I can somehow keep it. Who's next? Umu? Oh, and then fucking Wings and Ask. Wait, no. Oh, we gotta find a fight before that. Can I shriek you? I can, yeah. Maybe if he has like, done another attack, I would have gotten or I don't know if it's worth the risk. Streak is awesome. I love Streak. It's such a satisfying move to hit. It's so the screen is shaking so much, goddamn. Oh, I don't have soul. To ground pound. Nice. Carry kill. Shadow Dash. Oh well, there goes my dreams for Hitless. I wonder how hard Hitless I think Hitless is probably harder than all bindings. Like, I'm doing all bindings, but I'm still allowed to take damage. I think a lot of the attacks in this game are hard to dodge, like a lot of random shit. Like, I still take damage of anyone games. Doing a Hitless challenge of this, I don't know if that's really my strength, but. I would have like the full damage of a nail, I guess charms to even improve it and stuff. Could be interesting. I kinda wanna do another run of this Pantheon uh, without all bindings just to kinda see what it's like. Maybe once I've won, I'll uh, make another one without all bindings just to see. Like, how much difference does it do? That? I'm so used to all bindings now. Like, I must have like 100 hours at least just, uh, just playing all bindings. I can't even imagine swinging my sword quick with that charm. Like, does this work? Yes. It does. Another one! Mmm, it's kinda hoping. 
I could have hit him there. Ah! Oh, a snipe, nice. You still got five left, but. Oh, and I would say, Wing Nosk, no, I don't want to fight this guy. <laughs> I don't know why I hate this guy so much. I don't need to be no need to be this don't need to be so negative. I just don't like getting hit by him. It feels bullshit. And there's not really a lot I can do. I don't have much agency in this fight. It's very much reaction based, which I like a lot in fights. Um, like Sisters of Battle is a very much reaction based fight, but at least there you have like options of how to deal with the move. And you can like exploit opportunities to get more and more damage in extra time and figure out where you can do a good streak and all that. Maybe I'm just bad at this fight, but I haven't found anything better than what I'm doing here. I'm like, I'm like oh, I can maybe like double bench, benchful, uh, spur him, round bound here. But like, if he just spawns two bugs, I have nothing to do. Yeah, I just kind of have to wait for him. If he goes up in the air, that just sucks. I don't have anything to do against him here or there either. Like, only one out of his many moves actually allow me to hit him. It's kind of the Elder Who thing as well, where he can kind of just teleport off screen. And you can't deal with him. I'm waiting for him to attack me so I can do damage. And now he's not teleporting off screen unless he's got like the ceiling thing. Um, but like he's faster than you and you just kind of fly backwards so he doesn't take... Like I can't, I can't possibly reach him. Unless he does that, which is why I don't like it. Yeah. There we go. Didn't get hit though. Nice. Complaining really makes it easier. Uh, what is next? Oh, the sly dog himself. Yeah, yeah, I said that. <laughs> I'm so hilarious. Uh oh. Oh, that was like dash flash. I would have gotten hit. He has done that sometimes. Just charging dash flash really close to me. Throws me off. Hey. Okay, that could have been dash flash. To the spacing check. Uh, okay. Whoops. <laughs> Immediately failed. Oh. oh man. Oh shit. You know I'm failing here. I don't have that much. I'm not good at precise input right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think I've got it. Oh shit, almost. Yeah, no, fuck, I don't... Yikes. This is not really a fight I usually struggle in, but... At least that phase, but... Precise inputs, right? Really... Oh, fuck. My wrist hurts for some reason. It's kinda bad, actually. Huh. Did I string it somehow? I don't know how I would. I'll just... Not... I'll just ignore it. My body's probably just lying about how it hurts. What does it know, anyway? a random pain in my left wrist, god damn.
Oh, you went below me. Interesting. Cool. I keep one life. Whoa, let's go. <laughs> this one life has been with me since... Since how long, even? Yeah, end of time? Beginning of time? Both of them. Yeah, he's a time traveler. Deal with it. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna fucking disappear here, though. I'm just, for some reason, fucking up in this fight a lot. I got scared. Oh shit, you almost. Ooh. All right, cool. Who's next? Broken vessel. Lost sibling. Lost kin. <sighs> you know, I was kind of dreading making this whole run. I thought I would do really badly, but I'm getting decently far. I don't think I'll win, but this is like a worthwhile attempt. Oh, what? I thought... Hmm. I reacted wrong. Very defensive for some reason. There we go. Five life blood. I took damage once. Can I keep my one life blood? Oh man. Oh man, this is gonna be kinda hard. I don't think I'm equipped for this fight. Eee. 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 I'm so scared. Oh, okay, no, I don't want to run. I'm gonna be so fucking patient throughout this fight. I have all the time in the world. What am I gonna do after this run? I'm gonna keep watching Mob Psycho. It's a good show. It's not like I want to spend all my day doing it though, but what else am I going to do? Something productive? <laughs> or done enough productive things. Uh, okay, I'm going to try it now. Come on, man. How am I possibly going to chase after the Radiance if I don't even bother chasing after this guy? Eh, it's too much of a hassle. One more health. If this I keep this up, I'll have nothing. I'm not gonna even use any spells here actually, I'm just gonna play it like a coward would. Only attack him during that attack and leave any other. Spell. Woo. 
dangerous. Optimal gameplay, but probably the safest. Oh god, I'm gonna try to keep my at least one life left in this fight. I just often take damage here for stupid reasons. I'll play so passively. <laughs> nope, don't do that. That's not a thing you can do in this fight. Some life blood. Eee! He could have just chose to fuck me over there, but he didn't. What a kind soul. More. Come on, I want to keep this life, but all my goals and aspirations rely on this one life. But I'll have nothing without it. Let's go, I kept my one life blood. Only one that matters anyway. <laughs> yeah! Ah, uh, makes me happy. I was genuinely worried. <laughs> this life blood means the life of me. I'll... I was supposed to say something very extreme. I'm not gonna say that. Listen, I want to be... <clears throat> uh, I would never support indulging in self-harm in any way or form. Uh, your body is worthy of love. And so are you. Um, never even think about killing yourself. Not that I was implying anything about that, but if you are thinking of that, don't do that. Especially over a video game. Blue mask thing. Made of blueberries. It's called lifeblood. Life whose blood is that? Life's? Hey, what is it even called lifeblood? It's kind of worrying. What is that? It's like a cocoon? Yeah, it's like a bunch of creatures that you absorb. You kill them and steal their life force? What the flip? No wonder the Pale King thought it was taboo. Kinda messed up. Shriek right now. Oh, okay. Two shrieks is enough. Yo, no hit. Why am I doing good? <laughs> I don't feel good. Is that just... I don't know. I don't know what that says about me. 
Let's see if I can uh, keep it up during this fight. Goodbye. Oh, damn, that was unlucky of me. Platform. I was not planning on sharing with anyone. Oh god, fuck. Yeah, no, this is not good. Um, I don't know if I can hit him here. I, know. I guess that vengeful spirit will. Vengeful spirit will be enough. Oh god. I don't know why I thought I was going to puke for suddenly. Just thinking about... The finish flies? What? What am I talking about? Oh god, I, said, I got a weird sensation. I should eat something. I haven't eaten all day. Oh, well, that's a lie. I've ate breakfast. Uh, no, I don't lose my one life bug. Okay? I have two more before that leaves. Leave! Okay, that was dangerous. I'm stupid. Don't do that, me. Uh oh. I don't know if I can hit him here. He's kind of like protected by the middle platform. <sighs> He's gonna come below me. I don't want. I don't trust that. I'll leave. He's in an okay spot to hit, I'm just put a pussy. Hey! Uh-oh. Ah, yeah, I couldn't quite see it, I didn't. Hmm. Yeah, fuck. Don't lose my one life blood. No! I've never felt this much pain in my life. Fuck you, Marcos. You know, I'm going aggressive. No, I'm not. What, what, what am I, an idiot? What? Sorry, I was clouded by anger, but that anger is over now. Now I'm, now I just feel stupid before even thinking about that. I pogo something. I don't even know what. I don't think it was a shield. I think it was a random blade. I don't do that. No. God damn it! I lost my funny lifeblood. I don't know why. I... Ah, I knew something was dead. Damn it! This run is ruined. I don't even want to play anymore. <laughs> what? Oh man, I missed my chance to do that. You can shriek in the beginning, if you're lucky. What? Well, I guess I would have lost my one left foot anyway. What am I doing? What was that heal? Get rid of those guys. I'm just gonna heal here. Who cares if I fail? I would care, but whatever. Who even cares about what I care about? Me? No. Not not Zoat. Especially not Zoat. Um, where are you gonna come from? Uh oh. There's this Hopper alive somewhere. I don't like it. Goodbye, Hopper. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah, I can heal. Whatever, no, you know what I can't heal? My heart, I'll be losing my loved one. I'm at, I'm at title is like losing what I care about the most. The story of pain, and companionship, and loss. I just start adding lore to. Okay, now it's like. No, I guess I'm not. Adding lore to my runs. Like, my long lost lover. Uh, the one lifeblood. Oof. Gravity almost got me on. Uh, got me, man. Uh, 
Come on. Die, please. Because I didn't shriek you in the beginning, so it's like... Ugh. Come here. my one lifeblood. I miss you so much. I'm sorry, dear. They sacrificed themselves for my behalf. Giving away their life so I could survive just one more measly hit from Markov. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, lady. Lady lifeblood. Yeah, I just gendered it. One last life button. I should start like singing romance songs about my life button. I don't know any of them. I do know some, but <laughs> I'm not gonna start singing rom- Ah! Expect to lose there. I guess it makes sense. It's you gotta be quick in your reaction time. No. Oh well. Um. That's it. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I can't be bothered practicing that fight. I don't. It's not that fun. Uh, oh well. One day before, okay, I guess. Alright, let's see if I can make it tomorrow. Let's hope I'm feeling better. Maybe not. Maybe I hope I'm feeling worse. In that case, I'll do a lot better for some reason. Thanks for watching, I guess. Uh, wish me luck for tomorrow.